Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I'm the Bad Apple Witch and today I want to talk about sort of where my path is heading, kind of the turns that it's taking at the moment, how I'm feeling about it, and sort of give some advice for other people if you might be in this situation as well. So I like to think of my path, my spirituality, as being pretty fluid and that I want to explain that that also extends to my deity work so I know that a lot of people get very close to one particular deity and that will be their deity for a very long time if not you know for the rest of their spiritual journey but for me I like I said I'm very fluid in that sense where I work with many deities. I don't have any kind of hangups on working with deities of different pantheons or multiple deities at once. I can have a very strong relationship with one for a brief period of time or a longer period of time. And then that will eventually come to a conclusion and I We'll move on to what is next or I can also be sort of pushed by one deity to working with another. That said, things have rather dramatically shifted for me in the past couple of weeks. It's been very rapid and dramatic so um, that's kind of what I've wanted to share with you today. Um, for a long time, Lilith has kind of been knocking on my door and it, it's not been something that I have paid much attention to or given much um, interest in. I've acknowledged it and I had done a little bit of research about her, but it just didn't feel like that's where I was supposed to go or I'm not sure what the issue was but I didn't really answer answer the door for her um, answer her knock and recently it became just very overwhelming that I needed to do that so I did and I went through sort of a, a meditation to meet Lilith and accept her guidance and energy in my life. And that was extremely dramatic. So like I've said, I've worked with several other deities over the course of the past several years. And it, it there may be some moments where things are intense and happening, or I'm able to get some communication, but oftentimes with many of the deities that either I have sought out myself or I initially felt called to, that has been communication and interaction has been very minimal. And I had, I was listening to some podcast the other day where someone was relating, I think it was a podcast, maybe it was a book or a YouTube video, but they were relating this disconnection to sort of how you feel in like Abrahamic religions, Christianity, and so on, where you're talking to God and he's not answering back um, and kind of screaming into the void, as they put it. And that's kind of where I was at with a lot of the deities that I was working with, where it just wasn't, something wasn't clicking. So here enters Lilith and I have had a lot of information placed in front of me, like without explanation. Like I have a list, okay, on Amazon of, I usually go through there once a week or whatever and will favorite a bunch of books that I'm looking at reading. And I had previously purchased books on Lilith, um, one book and there was a book that I had never seen before. And um, when I was looking into books on Lilith, never seen it before, definitely didn't favorite it. And um, it was the only thing 
that was it was actually in my cart to check out on Amazon. So it wasn't even my in my like book list to read. It was in my cart as the only thing in my cart. Um, so I kind of took that as a sign and I purchased it. Um, it's actually this book, Lilith, Dark Feminine Archetype, Temple of Ascending Flame. So this is, I've been reading a lot of stuff, but this Temple of Ascending Flame is basically a, I think it's called like Lilithian or something. They are dedicated to Lilith and it didn't just end with this book, but I took that as a sign of something that Lilith wanted me to read and get some information from. And ultimately, things have just clicked and seemed to fall into place and really like resonate with me, whereas they, they haven't been before. So... This is kind of where my path is taking a turn. And when I say taking a turn, I don't want it to sound like I have had a very specific path this entire time because I haven't. Like I said, I feel very spiritually fluid and I have gone down many different paths. But the way that I like to think of it is I am learning different things from different areas, different beliefs, and kind of forming my own ideas and beliefs from that. And I think that that is, for a long time, I was very, I felt very guilty about that. I felt like, well, I just can't stick to something and just do it this way for the rest of my life and, and get there and attain enlightenment or whatever the end game of that path or you know, spirituality is, I felt very guilty about, you know, trying this out for six months and then, you know, learning all about this. So I was going through Wicca and um, Tantra, Buddhism, a lot of different things, Gnosticism. And I'm pulling different things from these beliefs and creating my own path. So initially when I started communicating with Lilith and reading these things, I had that kind of bubble up for me again, where I was feeling like, oh shit, you know, I have felt like I'm falling in line with being pagan um, for quite some time now. So what am I doing now? And I just want other people to know if that's kind of how you are too, that this is okay, you're not failing at one spirituality because you're not continuing down that road. You're not, it's important to continue learning. And if we just sit on one topic and only think that way, then I don't see much growth happening. And I think a lot of that guilt also comes from being someone who grew up in the church where you're taught that you do not stray from God's word or whatever the case may be, or else, you know, you're doing it wrong. And that's just, that's not the case. So anyway, I'm kind of rambling. And the point that I want to make is that things are very dramatically changing for me. And I'm kind of stalling in explaining that because it is a little crazy to me and I don't know how everyone out there is going to take that information not that it matters but um I am looking into and learning a great deal about demonolatry and I am in the process really of unlearning my religious my previous religious biases about what demons are, what sort of entities they are, what they do, what they look like. Like there is a whole different world out there as far as deity work goes. Um, and I am going down that road. So 
I would not sit here and claim to like be or aspire to be a demonolatrist or anything, but that is where my interest is leading and you might see more videos regarding that. One very interesting thing that I have found in my research of this as I'm going is that many of these people do identify with um, pagans, with paganism, and carry a lot of the same beliefs and practice a lot of the same sort of ritual um, things, which is nice to hear that I'm not just like completely going off the rails, but um, some also believe that demons are essentially the gods of old, the ancient gods from all sorts of pantheons that were demonized by um, Christianity or Catholicism. And we, they're not inherently evil. They're not the devils or demons of these religions that they make them out to be. But anyway, um, that is where I am at currently. I'll share some of the books that I have been going through here recently. Um, just, it's been s sort of overwhelming, but not in the way that when I was previously trying to gain some information about a specific topic in the past, it, it feels very right to me. And again, I will explain a lot of this further in upcoming videos um, around certain topics, kind of looking at things from my perspective. But um, for now, so I showed you this book. And then I've also got Consorting with Spirits, Your Guide to Working with Invisible Allies by Jason Miller. And this has a great deal of information. It also kind of looks at communication from um, both sort of a pagan and it seems very demonolatry. He calls himself a sorcerer and um, works with many different types of spirits, but I'm really enjoying this one so far. And I got that because I am trying to get more experience in working with spirits in communicating whether it be through divination or scrying or astral travel or literally just sitting down and having a um a psychic conversation if you were um so this has been very helpful and insightful then the next book that i have is dark gate key to the left hand path um, I don't know who this, oh, Adaku Amilatu is the, the author. And this is an incredibly informative book. It goes through all sorts of different left-hand paths, be it Satanism, Luciferianism, demonolatry, from a very, um, a very nice perspective. It's very educational. It has all sorts of different information regarding the sigils and the ends and rituals and um, spell work and like. So I, I'm a very informal person when it comes to ritual and a lot of these books do not, um, do not really dry, jive with me very well as far as that because they are very extremely formal. So I don't tend to follow ritual. I do like reading through them and getting some sort of ideas, but when it comes to rituals and books, it's just not my thing. I always tend to make my own rituals and prayers and so on. But um, I highly recommend if you're looking into or even just just to read it, um, picking up this book because it's awesome. And then I have the complete book of Demonology by S. Connolly. 
and I am planning on purchasing a lot of her books. I know that this one is sort of a combination between two others that she wrote, um, just sort of combining and expanding on the information that she had before. And this is, um, it does cover some other beliefs in other um, like Satanist or Luciferian uh, beliefs, but this includes sigils and a lot of devotional work and um, spell work. It also kind of doubles as a workbook as well. So I've been trying to go through this like very quick, but essentially that's where I am at. I am God, this sounds so fucking crazy, but I am looking at working with demons and um, kind of seeing where that takes me and what I can glean from that work because so far it has been much more fruitful to me and much more impactful and it's just clicking a lot more for me. So again, I'm not completely changing my perspective on things or how I do things or what I believe in at all. This is just sort of an add on to what I already do in my, um, in my path, in my work and we will see where it goes. So you can probably count on seeing some new things from me regarding some of these topics that I am learning about just so that I can share them with other people as well. If this is something that scares you or makes you uncomfortable, please feel free to skip this content. I'm not going to solely be making content about things like this. I just wanted to share where I'm currently at and how my path is changing. So hopefully that made some sort of sense and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.